we're back. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to set one up here to blend into this larger flake we took a while ago from the end. And uh, it's a pretty good platform already, just need to nibble it back a little bit. And get our breeder. Braid down. Braid lateral. And uh, guide the braid. So basically, what I'm doing is a braiding here is just setting up an isolated platform. We'll take and put our leather in here. And we'll strike that one. There we go. This one here, as you can see, come in there and blend it right in with that. Alright, now we're going to come to, let's see, we're going to get one right here, coming this way to blend in with this part. Nibbling this edge back so it's a little sharp. Brush it down. Brush it level. And we'll set up our guide flake right here. Right there. And brush that back some more. And there, billet, a piece of leather. This flake, I want it to travel a little shorter if I can, so I'm going to put this leather closer to the edge. Pinch it in. Yep. And you can see, there's your flake. There's the platform right here. And that flake ran right up in there and blended with these flakes that came from this way and this way. And smoothed it out in the center. All right, now we'll take a short flake right here and uh, next to that one. Brush that down. Brush it this way. And this one, I want a wider platform, so we're not going to isolate it so much. Just kind of a wide isolation, a little brush. And. Put my leather in there. Yep. And there's that flake. And you see these are running about three quarters of the way across the face. So you're getting thin, but you're not losing much width. And uh, that blends into everything else there, nice and smooth. Now we'll come right here off of this ridge and shoot along here. And it's got a good platform already. So we just need to brush it up a little bit. Make sure I'm getting the right one. And there we go. Then we'll take and put this laterally, or length, excuse me, lengthwise of it. And uh, what this does is by rolling this leather, you're supporting that flake pretty good, so it's less chance of breakage. If you notice, most of them I take, I have taken with this method, the flake stayed in intact. And uh, you lose a little bit of the front end just because of bending stress, but the rest of them blend right in there pretty good. And uh, you don't get many hinges. Um, you always get a few tiny like thumbnails here and there, especially on the vaculite, but. Um, with this method, it works pretty good, and you don't have much trouble with bad hinges. And if there is something happens where I do have one, I'll show you how to do that too. This uh, little roll leather method works pretty good. There's that one. Nice and clean termination. Now we're going to get one right up the center. Look out for that inch shock. Uh, better braid that a little bit. In shock happens because of uh, usually support issues and uh, 
or like in my case, just plain stupidity. But, uh, every once in a while, it'll go in my favor. Well, I had talked too soon. There we go. That's one. We got another one right beside it. There we go. And that's two. And you see those terminated nice and clean. No hinges. All right. Now let's see here. Now we got to trim this right here because we got a little square spot. And that took care of that. And we'll come with a flake off of that one. Brush it down to set the platform up. Brush it back to isolate it. Give it a good lateral brushing. And this ridge on this flake is very short near the edge. So the leather is going to be closer to the edge. And uh, pop your flake. You see that one went in there, blend it right in nice and smooth. And uh, then we'll take and come back from here with one this way to clean up some of this right here. Trim it back. Set up your platform, braid it down, take lateral. And we're going to get this one more to the tip. That out. Put a leather under here and take that flake. And that one went in there too. That one had a little bit of a fingernail hinge thing, but no biggie. We got another one to do from this side that will undercut that, blend it. And I'm going to get another one beside it. Right there. There we go. And now we'll come here and take that one I was talking about.